at you too. We got something in the mail from the barber plug. You see, I already opened it up because I was too anxious. I didn't really want to wait and see what it was for you guys to see first. You know what I'm saying? We got some cool care. I pretty much know what it is. He said he was going to send it over, but we got the wall magic clip black edition. All right. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, and it comes here. And it comes with a trimmer. And the barber plug is always throwing a little extra stuff in here. He threw in a, um, a razor. I'm going to have to do like a, a giveaway or something. Because I got like... <laughs> I got like at least five of these things, alright? I don't know what to do with them. But uh, we definitely going to open this up. Alright, this was the Magic Clip looks like. Black and gold. That's what it sound like. I like the little, the little touches right here with the black screw thingies right here. All right, here's the trimmer. Gold little hits. Gold blade. I want to say I was the first one to start the gold blade thing. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm gonna, I'm, I don't want to take credit, but I'm going to take credit on the gold blade thing. I remember in barber school, the gold blade thing was was, was what everybody wanted. Cap. You said cap? Come on. You no, 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 no. I can, I can. You can, you can about, come on now. Come on, vouch for that, vouch for that. Gold blades, I, I dang near. I didn't start it, but I definitely put it out there to the, to the, to, to the masses, for sure. All right, let's see how these cut. you guys so before I actually start cutting I'm gonna pick the hair out um, this makes it easier for the hair to go through the teeth of the blade so my client wanted to cut her hair down to a three so what I did was I'm gonna take my shears um, and basically trim off a lot of the bulk um, it's unnecessary to just go in with the clipper and just make your job a lot harder all right so just make sure you take some of that hair down, take some of that bulk off before you actually use the clipper. All right, you guys, so right now, I got my three guard on with the lever open, um, which I'm gonna eventually close because she wanted a three on top. Um, so I'm just gonna go through the hair as best as I can try to make an opening once I make the opening It's gonna be a lot more easier for you to go around the head once you built that that opening Once the hair is already down because you could just take a little bit off at a time So don't just always go in the bulk areas and just try to take chunks and chunks at a time You know use your corners of your blade and take the hair down gradually So once I take the hair down with the three guard open, I'm gonna comb through the hair, basically take my pick, pick the hair out again, and then go back over it with the three guard closed. So when cutting her hair, 
Uh, I ran into a problem where I felt like the hair just wasn't laying down when I was cutting it. So I kind of wanted to take it down even further, but I know my client really wanted that three and she might have had issues in her scalp. I just didn't know. I didn't see it. So I just wanted to honor the fact that she wanted a three guard. So I just did that. So what I did to make it look like it lays down is I just freehand the top with the lever fully closed and knocked off the, all those hairs that were sticking up. That made the haircut look a lot cleaner. It came together and it just had this appearance that it laid down. So as far as the taper goes, I'm gonna handle it a little bit differently in the back. I'm gonna start by going up with my lever open and basically knocking off some of the bulk as if I was setting in a bald line guideline. Putting on my one guard with the lever open, I'm going up, but I'm scooping out because I don't wanna set in a harsh guideline. I kinda want the one to blend into that bulk on top. So I'm scooping out. So with the two guard with the lever fully closed, I'm gonna go with the grain going down, uh, basically knocking some of that bulk off at the top because I don't wanna fade into it, I wanna blend down into it. Now I'm gonna put on the one guard and do the same exact thing. Now to get everything to come, to now to get everything to come together, I'm gonna do a little free hand with the lever fully closed to blend in the one guard to the top of the bulk. Next, in a flick out motion, I'm gonna flick out that middle line using my zero guard with the lever fully closed. Now in some cases, the zero guard can't take everything out. I go back with my lever open and just detail in between the one and the lever open. Next, I'm gonna clear out the bottom half, making it razor ball with the lever fully closed, just blending everything in. It's very light work that I'm doing. Um, I didn't wanna bring this uh, taper up too high, so I did it this way to keep everything as low as possible because she really even, she didn't even really want a taper in the back like that. So I tried to keep it as low as possible. And lastly, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna freehand the edges um, near her lineup just to make sure everything is not sticking out and it looks neat. So on both sides of her temple, I'm basically just gonna go with the grain with the one guard with the lever open just to make sure the sides aren't too bulky.
Listen, this client came in as a walk-in. She asked if anybody had any opening spots. I took her at the end of the day because I couldn't miss out on the opportunity. If you don't think I did a good job, well, God did. On YouTube, this is the cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams is on the beat. That's my brother, man. He does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360 Jeezy and my Instagram is 360 Jeezy. But it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here.